Hello, hello. Today, we're going to show you how we can do data analysis on this particular website where I try to uh, track the traffic on this e-commerce website. Okay, so this is an e-commerce website that has uh, sells women's clothing, uh, such as this uh, shirt dress, long sleeve blazers. Okay, and you can basically click on any one of them to make a purchase by adding into the shopping cart. Right. So I can do a checkout now if I choose to, and proceed to a checkout page. Right. So you can do all those. Uh, uh, typical e-commerce transactions and this particular website also got some accessories uh, back in stock okay accessories and things uh, things that they sell like necklace earring okay and pearl necklace okay so it has also got services that it offer where you can actually book a time okay a time slot and book an appointment Right, and promotions. So these are the few uh, interesting thing about this e-commerce. So the, now we're going to have the Google Analytics, right, to basically analyze. Right? So you can see over here immediately we have got a link okay, to this particular uh, e-commerce website where we will analyze the traffic okay, that is going on to this particular e-commerce right so we can start off with uh, choosing the right uh, website which is in this case is this uh, crystal germane right where we're going to analyze okay and we're going to just take a good look okay, so this is the performance platform we can actually analyze okay and moving on and uh, we will choose to look at the traffic right look if you look at this there's actually about 50 users that has actually visit the website okay since 22nd of january right until today so this is uh, actually the last seven days you can also change this to the last 28 days okay so you can see that there's an actual increase right this website has actually been uh created sometime in end december Right. So ever since you have about 64 users, 62 are new users, right? And you can see there's the engagement time given, right? And you can see the graph, okay? That basically tell, like for example, on, on the Saturday 23rd of January, right? There is 14 users, 14 people who actually view the page. We'll come to this particular website. So you can even see the, the users, the demographics of the users. They are basically people uh, browsing from Singapore. Since this is a Singapore website, 62 users are from actually Singapore. Malaysia got four, not too bad. India got one, Myanmar one, and United States one. Right? Bearing in mind, we have not done any uh, aggressive marketing to the global market uh, by just uh, having a Singapore uh, presence we are able to garner within the one month uh, 62 and we have not been doing any social marketing right so uh, you can see a lot of other informations that talk about the user trending and the, the discount like trending up and if you add up cumulative uh, people visiting and you can even see that like in this uh, particular time, okay, which is actually the 20th of December, that was the first time that we actually launched this uh, website, five users, right? So, and you can see the different uh, days and weeks, okay, this is for this January 3rd to 9th of January, altogether there's about 19 visitors. Right. We can also take a look at other informations and acquisitions overview. Let's so see what we have. Right. So you can see uh, the different charting, okay, and the number of users that last about thirty minutes. Okay, so you have a couple of people, right, and the sessions. So you can see all these statistics that are actually being collected, collated, 
right? So uh, any other things that we can gather from this user acquisitions? So you can see there are different charting, okay? Different charting to plot. You have the line chart, and you have the barcode uh, chart, right? And uh, you have any referral. So it seems that there's about uh, 11 users that is being referred to that e-commerce website. So let's take a look at the traffic acquisition, see what uh, other information we can gather. So you can see again here are the, the traffic. Uh, they are peeping at different time, different day. Right? And you can even see the, the user sessions okay, that's coming in from the URL. This is the main URL, the secondary URL. And you can see some of the referral from some, some other website that basically lead on to the e-commerce website right so you can even uh, look at this as the number of users okay that's coming from the, this to this site huh? so there are about eight 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 of them uh, 62 basically coming from a direct url uh, this uh, j fashion jc fashion basically the term referrer uh, to reach here Right. And uh, you have also got uh, the UW, Wudonggong. Okay, so that is being referred to come to this particular website. And there's also some referral from the Facebook and Match Funnels. Right, so interesting statistics that you can actually gather. Right, here are the audience. You can see some of the audience. 62 are you just the normal users, the normal browsers. And you actually got five purchases, right? five of them actually make the complete checkout. Right? So later on we'll see okay, what, uh, who are these people and what did they buy. So let's move on to the engagement. We'll see engagement overview. So you can see the return, uh, the engagement session per users uh, that they have been tabulated. Uh, and you can see the various uh, event count okay, by the event name. Okay, these are basically the, the, the scrolling of the website, the, the first visit and adding to chart altogether. There's about 30 users who add, add something items to a chart, right? And you can even view by page title the, the numbers of views that happen on the various uh, page, like the store page, home page, okay, accessories and women and services. So we can see these accessories are basically the accessories over here, right? And the women's and the services, right? Which is actually being reflected over here, right? So we have uh, 22 users actually have browsed, okay, the women's web page, and 27 has actually browsed the accessories. So from here, you kind of can tell that the landing page are usually in the home page or the store page, uh, which means that if you were to do any advertisement, you should be doing at this two particular page. Why? Being that this is the most viewed page, right? And for those that pages that is, uh, doesn't have a lot of audience, right? You might want to consider how to improve like the promotion and sales. Apparently that uh, there's less view on that page. So you might want to uh, provide more interesting uh, content right, in this promotion and sales site so as to promote this particular page browse. Right? So here is also a plot of graph that talk about the user activities over time and the user stickiness. Right? So you have also got other page view. Okay, so these are the various page view that is generating. So you can see this is transforming uh, the di different data visualizations in terms of a uh, bar chart okay, by the store pages, by the web page, and uh, coupled with the dot chart like this. Okay, they talk about the home, storefront, accessories. So apparently the home and the store are one of those uh, popular page that, they, that people have visited. So again, these are the page I title as well as the, uh, the, the presentations of the number of views, the actual views, and the views per user, okay, the views per user. Mm -hmm. So you can see that uh, some of the hot items that has actually been viewed, okay, is basically the shirts dress with belt as well as the long sleeve, long sleeve be bezel, right? So this can be viewed as a 
women's page, right? And uh, apparently there's more people browsing through this long sleeve blazer. Right? This could be this particular page that we are referring to. Right? So here you have a very good uh, data presentations. And under monetizations, what else? We can actually look at the e-commerce purchase. That actually gives us a very good breakdown on what are the uh, hot items. Like for example, uh, there are about 11, okay, 11 of this uh, shirt dress with belt that's been added to the chart uh, compared to only six long sleeve blazers. Right? So this could be the second hottest item and this is the first best items that has been sold. Right? So this again can be seen over here. This is the second best item that has been sold. Uh, so also for the Google Analytics, uh, as you can see, the Google Analytics can actually be linked up to whatever web part. Uh, they can actually do uh, analysis on this particular website provider. You have actually embedded some JS uh, or same, some JavaScript that is uh, from Google. Okay, and you basically plug into some of the header page of this so that that will allow the Google okay, uh, app to be able to uh, capture some of this traffic as well as the user's profile, right? user habitual profile. And here you can see uh, the number of times some of these products has been added to the carts, shopping carts. Right? So as you can see, uh, we actually capture about eight items, uh, eight items. Uh, eight merchandise okay from this particular website and then which are the hottest one you can see that uh, among all these the one with the shirt with the dress with belt okay has 11 items 11 okay of this item has been added to the shopping cart and all of these 11 items that has been added to the shopping cart five of them actually got checked out which means there there was actual uh, actual purchase Right, and versus the next highest, which is actually the long sleeve blazers. So six items has actually been added to the shopping cart, and uh, four items is actually being purchased. Right, so overall you can see that actually there are uh, altogether thirty items in the shopping cart, and seventeen items out of which, uh, seventeen items out of thirty has actually been uh, checked out and make the purchase. So, which means it's a success rate of about more than 50%, uh, kind of conversion rate. Right, so uh, we can also take a look at the demographics, okay, of uh, any details about the users. Okay, uh, I think we have seen this also in earlier. We can see the majority of the viewers are actually from Singapore. Right, about 62, Malaysia 4, India there's 1, Myanmar 1, and United States 1. So this is also being plotted on this top chart. And you can also see the percentage breakdown uh, by the users from different locations as well as the engagement rate. So <clears throat> this is where the, they click through some form viewing or some other activity. Then we move on to the tag. Okay, let's take a look at the tag details view. Right, so tag detail will give even more uh, user profile information. Okay, they talk about uh, what browsers uh, that most people are using. You can see that the popular one are the Chrome, Edge, Safari that has been monitored right so far. So we can even see the number. Of the more popular one is actually the Chrome browser. Right, out of sixty nine users, uh, fifty three of them, and which is about. Uh, yeah, 53 of them are actually using the Chrome browsers, right? Uh, versus uh, Safari, which is the second ranking, and followed by the Microsoft Edge, uh, with six of them uh, that are using the Microsoft Edge. Then there's also the Firewall, Safari. So, it, so in a way, it lets you know the kind of a, a popular browser that has actually been used to look at your uh, website. So your website, your e-commerce site must, must make sure that it can support at least the top three uh, Chrome browser, uh, browser uh, which is the Chrome, Safari, and Edge. <coughs> right. And uh, by looking at some overview, you can also look at some of the uh, profile. You can see that most of the users are actually from the web, desktop, laptop, 
machines okay versus uh, nine okay nine actually browse to your website using a mobile phone and majorities are using windows operations followed by ios phone apple phone huh? there are about eight users okay out of the 60 odd users and you have also got seven users that uses macintosh right here also a lineup of the popular browsers as just now we have seen chrome obviously is the more popular one safari and microsoft edge so like as i mentioned you might want to uh, develop your e-commerce website to ensure that it has no problem with the top three browser right and you can see here also a breakdown on the number of percentage of desktop users that view your website as well as the percentage of mobile users here even also to, uh, highlight the kind of the screen resolutions that your users are using right so you can see over here uh, the majority of the users about 25 of them actually uses the 1920 times 1080 kind of a pixel format so when you develop okay your e-commerce website you might want to take note that majority of your users are using very high resolutions uh, screen right so you might want to ensure that your design can satisfy these uh, screen conditions as well as this uh, screen resolutions right so so that actually give you a quite a good view of your users uh, profile okay so that more or less uh, kind of give a short demonstration of how google and i think can actually be the linked up to any of the e-commerce website and then it can be uh, directed to do some tracking or do some uh, browser analytics.